let's continue on with uh, the pen tool and building, building out our shapes for our runner's icon. Back to Illustrator, this is where we left off. I'm just going to zoom out to full screen here so you can see. Um, we finished off with all the divisions for the bottom of the shoe and additionally uh, I would have done the outline of the profile shoe and a little bit of accent work. What that looks like is this, is where I ended up with that. Um, so let's go ahead and break these shapes up and color some things in and see what it looks like. So for the bottom of the shoe, we have all our divisions. All these lines are going outside of the bottom outline of the shoe, which is actually what we want. Using Pathfinder over here on the right, open the Pathfinder palette, what we want to do is divide this. All of those arcs and line segments are going to divide that one solid shape that's all the way in the back behind there. So bottom row all the way on the left is divide. When I click on that, you can see that all the extra stuff on the outside disappeared. And then if I object ungroup, ungroup this, you can see that actually what I have now are individual discrete blocks that we can select and change the color of individually. So I'm just working off of the sketch down below there, selecting some of these. Zoom in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, selecting some of these individual discrete blocks and then I'm going to open my swatches palette and we're going to activate the fill and then I'm going to put this darker orange in there. Now I can see I missed one here. I want this one here. And these can be a little tricky to get a hold of now. Um, so you kind of have to do your <laughs> do your best, and you know, just kind of go back and work unwork what you need to. Uh, you also can use the drag a selection method, and that way you know for sure what you do and don't have a hold of. Let's see, I'm going to turn that one off. Uh, I want one over here somewhere. And then around the heel, let's just say that they're kind of like me and all those are getting worn out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, what I do want to do is put a background color all the way behind this. Well, the remaining pieces, anyway, I want to give a lighter, a much lighter fill. And just trying to get a hold of those. There we go. Um, I think I got one extra or one less, yeah. So let's make those this lightest one and then that dark one. There we go. Now, when you're all finished, go ahead and group those so they stay together. Okay, let's deal with getting this guy colored. So what I actually have is the outline by itself and then a few of these little accent marks, which I'm sort of going to use to break this into pieces. I'm going to put it back over the sketch. 
there we go. And really what I need are two lines. I need this inside of the shoe and the sole to be a different color. And that's really it. So using the pen tool and planning on using divide with Pathfinder again, I'm going to draw in the outline of this inside of the shoe and let it come up outside of the shoe so it overlaps because I'm going to use that to again divide okay so I got that one and now I just need the line for the sole of the shoe which should come right through here and then continue on down and across Again, click and drag in the direction you want to go and watch behind you and make sure you're not pulling out those handlebars too far. I want a little bit of a curve down here. And then again, outside of the full outline. So I have this divider, this, this divider, and my outline, holding shift to make a multiple selection. And then I'm gonna to go to my Pathfinder palette. I'm gonna click divide. Let's get this down where we can actually see it. So I need to grab my other accent pieces with. And now if I ungroup, you can right click ungroup. You'll see that I have a shape that's the back back, so I can open my swatches palette, address the fill. Let's make this the medium orange. Actually, let's make that the light orange. Same thing with the sole of the shoe, the light orange, and we'll make the body the medium orange. Now that made uh, all of my accent lines disappear, so I'm going to select all three of those pieces again, and I'm going to go to Object Arrange Send to Back, and now you can see my outlines are back. Now that I'm finished, I'm going to select all of that shoe and I'm going to group it. Right? If I zoom out to my page level, command zero, I can take this shoe and then I have my bottom. Maybe I actually want those strokes to be kind of a dark gray. That looks better. And put that that way. Let's bring it down here where I think it lives. Maybe that way. Actually, let's try this. I'll overlap that there. I'm going to pull out the profile shoe, go to my reflect tool. Again, that's nested underneath the rotate tool double click to get my dialog. I'm actually going to reflect that. Okay, back to my selection tool. And let's put that here and I'm actually going to guess that arrangement wise, this is going to work better once I get my, and maybe this bottom should be just a little bit bigger in the scale of things. And that's my two pieces. If I go back to my layers palette, 
I can click on the eyeball of the sketch layer, turn that off altogether, select both of these. Let's get them kind of middle on the page. And then what we need for an application icon is a rounded rectangle to put behind this. So the rounded rectangle is nested underneath the rectangle tool. Uh, they are a square, so when I pull this out, I am going to hold down shift to constrain the proportions. I'm going to leave the gray stroke. I'm actually going to up the size on that quite a bit to about five. And then we're going to fill this yellow. Wow, that's bright. And object arrange, send to back. And if I select all of these, my alignment tools align to selection. I can hit horizontal align center. I actually like them off center a bit, completing the space a little more. And I'm going to make the bottom of this even bigger um, because as to functionality, that's the focus of what this application is going to do. All right, look for part three for how to add a gradient and highlight and shadow to the box 